सर बता दो ना कौन कौन से टॉपिक को छोड़ना है कौन कौन से टॉपिक नहीं पढ़ सकते जस्ट टेल मी विच टॉपिक्स नॉट टू रीड फॉर सी एस एन एन लाइफ साइंस एग्जाम स्टूडेंट ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंटली आज दिस क्वेश्चन लाइक विच टॉपिक्स टू लीव कौन से टॉपिक को छोड़ना है तो आज इस वीडियो में ही बार इसी चीज के बारे में बात करेंगे तो वीडियो में अंत तक बने रहे हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम सोमोस बायोलॉजी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन एंड आई हैव गॉट दिस क्वेश्चन प्लेंटी ऑफ टाइम्स दैट व्हाट आर द यूनिट्स दैट वी कैन लीव फॉर सीएसएन एंड लाइफ साइंस एग्जाम नाउ विद द साइंटिफिक कॉन्शियंस व्हाट आई कैन से इज दैट इट्स रियली a bad idea to leave any particular unit for the csn examination it is a bad idea because sometimes in some net uh, session in some set of net examinations questions can be asked quite easy from few topics or few units from other units the question may be little difficult may be little tough so what happens if you leave more than 3 4 units is that the units that you left the questions asked from those units can be easy so as you left those units and have not even prepared it at all you won't be able to answer them and the units that you have prepared the answer to that uh, unit the questions came tough so what happens even though you prepared you won't be able to answer that is a very practical situation that you might face so what is a logical reply to this question because i am going to tell you few units or few topics rather that you can leave if you don't have time if you don't have time to prepare if you cannot prepare beyond that that limit then only you decide to leave so that is the first criteria then i'll move to the next slide and tell you which topics you can leave so i'll mark them like this green let me mark green and i'll write things which are the most important topics will be classified as green and let's say that is unit 1 that is unit 13 very very important that is unit uh, let's say unit 3 very very important okay so apart from that there will be unit 10 very important because they are asked many question from this topics then we get yellow i'll place uh, the important units here from yellow let's take i mean i'll write it with black color for better visualization and that will be unit 4 uh, that will be unit 5 that will be unit 11 6 okay so last is the red and it put uh, the color with red and uh, let's write it 2 and 12 okay 2 and 12 but apart from that we still have some more topics i'll take another color and i'll write it in here so 1 2 and we have 3 we have 4 we have 5 we have 6 we have 7 we have 8 obviously place 8 is the most important we have 9 so place it here we have 10 11 12 11, and 13 all the units are written in here okay so this is a color coding that i want you to understand so these are the absolute units that you should not leave should never ever leave any portion to that okay so attend all of these units all these units no no units to be left now from the yellow zone you cannot i mean from yellow zone it's developmental biology it's evolutionary biology plant physiology human physiology and to my expert is what i understood is that students either come from the microbiology biotechnology these modern subjects or they comes from the zoology or botany subjects so depending upon your subject you can leave either zoology or botany depend on your expertise okay so i'll take a red color for a proper explanation to this so what i can say if you are from botany then keep botany but exclude human physiology if you are from physiology include physiology and exclude 
botany so between 6 and 7 you can leave any one do not leave both of them now among the others if you are from zoology obviously unit 11 evolutionary biology is familiar to you developmental biology is familiar to you but you should never ever at any circumstance leave development biology now unit 4 is something which is huge very big so in unit 4 what i believe is that immunology is a subject which requires maximum time for your preparation but the amount of questions you are going to get is not worth of what time you should invest to understand immunology if you are from microbiology biotechnology biochemistry molecular biology background then you can attain this otherwise you can leave immunology from unit 4 okay so unit 4 is something which you should not leave completely but immunology so i write immunology from unit 4 is something that you can leave from the yellow section now from the red part 2 is cell biology now cell biology is important where cell cycle regulation is there cell signaling process is a part of unit 4 so cell biology is a, as a topic which is not exactly important for the direct questions in CSINET examination but without understanding cell biology you will never understand cell signaling you will never understand plant hormones and pathways you will never understand developmental biology and many more things so you need to eventually prepare unit 2 so do not leave it now apart from that we have unit 12 and unit 9 12 and 9 these two units you can leave uh, without any second thought you can leave that because unit 9 is from classification biology where i prefer you that you should read the cladogram analysis apart from that rest you can leave how to prepare cladogram analysis there is a video in my channel you can watch that and you can leave 12 because there is no proper structure of question from 12 now all the units are mentioned apart from one unit here that is unit number 13 the last and this is known as a BAP of all units unit 1 and unit 13 the starting unit and the last unit the starting pair and the end pair tail ender both are the most important units of CSI and examination so ek or 13 tera is dono ko chhodna nahi you don't, should not leave it unit 13 is a biological techniques and there are plenty of biological techniques available you can leave some of the techniques but you should never ever completely leave unit 13 so isme se so in the red uh, part you can leave 12 as well as 9 so ultimately what we get is that in broad aspect you can leave 12 9 or 6 or 7 any one of that and immunology and some portion from unit 13 but not all the portions for example many of the students struggle with biostatistics like chi square test and t state so you can leave that part from unit 13 but read rest of the techniques like molecular markers the chromatography the pcr and all these techniques uh, sequencing techniques all these things for your better understanding so these are the things these are the topics I should sum up 9, 12, anything between 6 or 7 depending upon your expertise and immunology from unit 4 or the bacterial growth from unit 4 if you are not familiar with it and then some techniques from unit 13. So apart from that, so I already studied here, but apart from that, rest of all the topics you need to prepare, all the units you need to prepare. But again, it's not a recommendation. I should never recommend anyone to leave any topic, but again, it is a possibility that if you prepare 10 units out of 13 in CSI and examination, still you have pretty good chance of qualifying it. Because 10 units approximately will give you 50 questions in part C. Uh, that is enough because you need to answer only 25 out of 50. Uh, so that's kind of very important that you decide in your mind that out of 13 I am going to prepare 10 or 9 but not less than 9. If you have very less time in hands then 8. So depending upon uh, your caliber you can go with this sequence 1, 13, 3, 10, 8, 4, 5, 11 all these units and prepare for them. And remember if you follow this tip in the upcoming net examination is going to definitely help you while you prepare. You will see most of the question from these topics and it will help you to understand and prepare and answer them because these topics not only are very important for NET but also they ask uh, they are, are questions of part C and B both are asked from these topics okay so that's all about this lecture regarding 
विच टॉपिक्स टू लीव कौन कौन से टॉपिक को छोड़ना है नेट के लिए और ये सारे टॉपिक को आप छोड़ सकते हो ये सारे टॉपिक को आपको पढ़ना ही चाहिए सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट इट इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज द लाइक बटन शेयर दिस वीडियो टू योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल टू गेट मोर वीडियोज लाइक दैट इन फ्यूचर थैंक यू बाय ओके वन मोर थिंग बिफोर गोइंग आउट देर वी एट शोमोज बायोलॉजी ऑफर सी एस आई ऑनलाइन कोचिंग so if you want to get more tips like this you are going to get this a lot in our coaching so if you wish you can join the details are in the description and there's a number in this video you can contact this number thank you